Right, so what I wanted to do is look at Bevy, because right now I'm using specs, right? And that was that's only because that's what we're using in the original one, the original um, tutorial that we went through. So I want to switch over to the Bevy ECS and see how see what that looks like. Um, what's good? I guess this this tab we can reuse or get rid of. There we go. Bevy ECS. Buffet code says, good luck for the trip. Thank you. Bevy on the web. Zeta numbers is saying Bevy on the web. Um, I'm not going to be using Bevy itself. I'm still going to be using bracket lib. But I'm going to use the Bevy ECS instead of uh, specs ECS. If that makes sense. Um, and so we have something similar where we derive component. And I think I have a components thing here, right? Yeah. So instead of, instead of specs and specs derived, we'll just have bevy. So let's see, let's see if we can just scan through this. Is this a decent tutorial here, or is this just a, here's how to do this stuff. Okay, so the way you do queries is this way with argument, command, uh, fun function arguments. So the way you did it in specs was you created this, you know, I can show you. Specs has this very complicated um, I guess maybe would this be a good one to show a join no there's no join there rg join uh, oh rg join there so it has this 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 weird system where you create a, a giant data structure or a new, a, a new type. Um, and then it calls run on your system with that type. And then you have to extract the type this way and then you rejoin it this way. So I don't know, Bevy ECS is a little bit different. Right there. Okay. Okay. So let's try this. Let's try this. Then. And this has resources, right? These are components. World spawn. World entity. Those, that's an entity. There's a system. Here we go. Resources. Okay. So let's do this. Um, cargo add bevy ECS. Bevy reflect. Wonder what that does. Ooh, that's pulling in a lot of stuff, isn't it? Mentra says it's beautifully designed, honestly A tier crate, not gonna lie. Okay. Alright, well let's see. Let's see if we can convert all of our spec stuff over to as soon as this finishes building here. There we go. Okay, now I can watch that. Okay, so then then this becomes instead of spec prelude, this is bevy ECS prelude. Um, it also has world, so that doesn't that code doesn't have to change. So insert resource. That's how we do it there. Oops. So. Is that the only change we have to make? And then for um, the components, um, let's go to components. And instead of this, it's bevy ECS. Get rid of specs derive, debug component, and clone for attributes. This is just to test uh, components are working. And then we have register components. Do we how how do we register those here? I guess we don't have to. They don't have to be separately registered. Is that true? We just have derived component. We create a new world. We spawn using a position and a velocity, and we get the ID back. 
I don't have any. Uh, thank you, Mantra. Uh, it says you will want to migrate your systems to Bevy schedule if you uh, schedule if you can. I don't have any systems yet, so. Uh, and Mantra says they're automatically registered. So, all we have to do is build it. Okay, so we can get rid of that. We go back here. We don't need to call register components anymore. You can pre-register for performance. All right. Well, if that if performance turns out to be an issue, then we can do that. Um, and then map generate, map insert, main loop. Okay, so what's our main loop in Bevy? Oh, this is the main loop from um, from uh, RLTK, bracket lib. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's that's good. Okay. So let's see if let's see if this I may have to change map. Let's see. Yeah. So how do we grab um, a resource? I'm missing something here. Schedules, here's resource, here's insert. Oh, it's get resource. Okay, so we can just say get resource. Can I get it mutably? Um, right, it's defined uniquely by its type. So this has get resource. Let's take a look at Bevy. And world, what's world ID? Here we go, world, we get entity, get resource mut. Okay. So let's see if that worked. No, it's unknown. Oh, because I didn't do this. Bevy, ECS. Right? Okay, let's see. Yep, okay, so we got a mutable random number generator. Perfect. Thank you, Mantra. Um, okay, so. No, 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 no. Um, is that the only change we need to make here? Possibly. All right, well, let's see if it builds. Nope, we got nine failures. All right, the first one is, oh, right. We, we don't fetch it anymore. We say get resource. And this is get resource mute. So hopefully that's the biggest issue here. Uh, and this is insert resource. Mantra says you will run into problems with lifetimes when you try to borrow multiple resources because res ResMute will borrow the world. Yeah, no, I've run into issues like that before. Um, oh, this returns an option. These return options. Okay. Yeah. And these are all options as well? Yeah. So we're just going to assume things work, I guess. Down to two errors. Um, oh, the point is an option as well. Unwrap. And now we're down to six. Okay, so this must this must be the. Um, yeah, the resource might not exist. Yeah, I, I get that. I, and I think what uh, Specs was doing was hiding that behind, hiding that for us. Because if we're trying to retrieve a resource, it, I think it did the unwrap and it would panic. Um, oh, how did this work then? With Specs, that's weird. And this is all random number generator. Okay, so now, okay, we have a, a, a borrow issue here. 
immutable borrow occurs here, and then immutable borrow occurs here. Yeah, that makes me sad. That makes me sad. Okay. So, the issue we're having now, right, is that I'm borrowing this immutably, but I want to borrow another resource mutably because I want to change it, right? And I want, but I want access to that original data. So the obvious answer, the obvious way around that is to clone out but I don't want to clone everything. Use world cell. Okay, let's look for that. Retrieves a world cell which safely enables multiple mutable world accesses at the same time provided those accesses do not conflict with one another. Okay. Um, so what I just say let cell equals self ECS cell. As a world cell, and then can I just use cell here? Like that. It's a world to borrow. It's like, a, it's a ref cell for bevy, it panics at runtime. Okay, so do I have to borrow it then each time? Like that? No. And this returns an option, right? Yeah, an option world borrow. So, Okay, let's take a look at what a world cell provides. Oh, then we can call get resource on that. Right. Which returns an option world borrow. And then we deref it and we get the target, resulting typing after result type after dereferencing. So is this a map? That's a map. Okay. But then we have to convert all of them over, right? We can't just do one one at a time. Oh, move occurs. I don't want to move. I guess we can continue to have it as a reference. Or we, can we do that? This is a mutable borrow. Interesting. Mantra says, I rarely ever use it because with schedule and systems, the world borrows are managed for you. Okay. What, what I'm trying to do is set up a, a way to just draw or, or react to the uh, key codes, right? And then draw, ch change the screen. So this is, this is it. If I hit enter and I can move around like this on the screen. I just want to change the map offset resource based on key entry. Um, is that the way a system is supposed to work? A system is supposed to handle key, key presses for us? I guess that's something I should look up. Yeah, so this, this does a query, so you get the data you need, right? But if we're not running... I guess, I guess... Hmm. Mentor says, what library are you using for mouse input? What I'm using is, um, uh, it's called bracket lib. Do I have a, yeah, I do here. Actually, bracket terminal is the thing that's uh, that's running behind the scenes. Um, and it's running here inside the browser. So this this is generating um, WASM file 
compiling Rust to Wasm and then um, the browser just runs the code. So let me let me just continue with this and see if I can get this going. Uh, I don't know if this, this is the right way to do it. Will it just, will I just move the, um, the problem down? Right? By doing this? I mean, the other option is to... That's a mutable point, right? Oh, but it's behind, cannot assign because it's behind a, an ampersand reference. So can I do it this way? Yeah, okay. And now what's gonna fail? Oh, that worked, okay. We do have two warnings. We're not using components. That's fine. But does this continue to work? I can't tell. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so we just moved it around. Okay, so now we're using Bevy ECS for storing resources. We don't have any entities yet. Uh, Mentor says, it's not intuitive to begin, but you should map all your mouse events into Bevy events and handle them with ECS. Okay. Well, okay, so this is keyboard. This is all keyboard based. I'm not, I don't actually have any mouse events yet, but I will. Um, so maybe, so you, yeah, I don't want to pull in all of Bevy. This is just Bevy ECS. Okay, let's go over here and look up Bevy. No, uh, lib.rs. We can look up Bevy. Oops, Becky. Um, and then we can look at event here. guess not event that's tracing I don't think that's what you meant mix the pick says happy Wednesday hello mix the pick yeah this is this is probably not what you were referring to oh no you said events with the with an s okay is there a way I can Okay, so events send my event. Somewhere else send an event. That's interesting. Um, so then, hmm. so over here we would say, well, let, let me let me commit these changes because I got this working. Um, we don't need components yet. Let's pull those out. Right? Okay, so now it's now it builds cleanly. Uh, cargo could be let's make sure we didn't blow anything up there. I don't think we did. Oh. Oh yeah, VP is, is a reference now. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, what was, I looked this up, bind key dash E? Yeah, okay. Okay. Get a source, cargo, status, get commit dash M, move to bevy ECS. There we go. Okay, I'll look at I'll look at your uh